Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm so excited to talk about a really popular topic in this week's video. I get asked so much about sore nipples. So in this video, we are going to talk about the top five causes for sore nipples and what you can do about it. My name is Cassie Reyes. I am a registered nurse and a board certified lactation consultant. I'm also a co-founder of People's Lactation based in Washington, DC. I'm so happy that you found the channel and I would love to have you join our community. So if you wanna go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, give the video a like, and if you hit the bell, you'll be notified each week when I post a new video. So I would say the number one thing that people reach out to a lactation consultant for help with is painful latching, sore nipples, um, and problem solving around that. So in this video, we're gonna cover your bases on the most common causes for that soreness and what you can do about it and how to try to avoid it. So the number one reason is usually a shallow latch. And this just happens because a lot of times, especially for first time parents, you have never latched a baby on before. And you may think that it's super easy and it might it is a natural process but that doesn't mean that it's easy is the point i'm getting to so sometimes a little work on your technique can really help you get a huge improvement in comfort and not only comfort for you but the deeper and better the latch the better that your baby is going to transfer milk so I do have a video on this. Um, it's called Deep Latch Technique and I talk all about how to get that deep latch but some quick pointers are to make sure that you get comfortable, that your baby is comfortable and belly to belly. A lot of times pointing the nipple up to your baby's nose helps them really open their mouth wide and come up and look for the nipple like um, and then making sure that your baby's mouth is wide open before you bring them up and over the nipple can make a huge difference in getting them on there, getting a comfortable latch and having them have a more effective latch with better milk transfer. So check out that other video if you want a more of a step-by-step -step guide on how to get a deeper latch every time. Oh, the sun is just shining in to this room right now and I hope that you guys can see me okay but I'm really enjoying this beautiful sunshine. So the second reason that a lot of people tend to get sore nipples is if you are doing any pumping, if your flange isn't fitting you correctly, you could definitely be experiencing sore nipples as a result. If you take a look at this pump, um, the flange is this cone shaped part and when you're pumping, you want to see your nipple move freely. Your nipple should never be pushing hard up against this side here. It should move in and out without any problem. So that is one thing to look for. If it's too tight, it's going to rub kind of all the way around the base of your nipple and you might start to notice a red ring around the base of your nipple or cracking even bleeding. So that might be a sign that your flange is too tight. Another thing that could cause some soreness is if your flange is too big and it's pulling in too much of your areola, the areola itself might start to get really sore and the amount of milk that you're getting out might also not be as efficient because your flange isn't fitting properly and it's not effectively squeezing in the right spot on your breast to be able to get that milk out. So the point is make sure that if you're in the hospital, you ask your nurse or your lactation consultant to fit you for a flange before you leave the hospital. If you're already at home, touch base with a lactation consultant who can help you figure out the right size for you, especially if you're already experiencing some nipple pain. Pumping shouldn't hurt. And if it is hurting, you can turn down the suction, make sure your flange fits properly, and you can even try to lubricate the nipple a little bit 
with a little bit of either lanolin or coconut oil or olive oil around the either around the base of your nipple or just line the flange with a little bit of oil before you pump. Once your milk starts to come in, your milk tends to come in fast and furious in the beginning and it adjusts to your baby's needs. Um, some people do have an oversupply and sometimes it stays that way. But if you notice that your baby starts out feeding well and it's comfortable and then you, once your milk lets down, you notice that your baby is clamping down and it starts to get painful. It just could be that the flow of your milk when it lets down is really fast for your baby. And that obviously can cause pain because when your baby clamps down with their jaws, that's not comfortable. So if you're noticing this is happening, what you can do is you can use a little bit of hand expression to just get through that first let down until you see the milk kind of slow down a little bit and then put your baby on in a nice deep latch. That can help them manage the flow a little better and may help with that pain that you're experiencing when they're clamping down to slow the flow. If you're noticing that this is an ongoing issue and you need help managing your supply, there are ways to downregulate your supply. I just really recommend working closely with the lactation consultant through that process because you don't want to downregulate your supply so much that your supply tanks and then you're left trying to figure out how to increase your supply again to give your baby enough milk. The fourth reason that you might have sore nipples could just have to do with previous damage or something else going on on the surface of the nipple. So if you have some cracking or soreness from previously shallow latches, you may just find some relief by changing the position. When you change the position that your baby is eating in, they're going to hit the nipple on a different spot when they're sucking and that may help you find some relief, especially if you get a deep latch. For example, if you're usually doing a cross cradle hold, your baby's jaws are going to be coming across like this. Whereas if you switch your baby around into a football hold, they're going to be coming up and over like this. So their jaws are going to kind of hit here and here instead of here and here. If you notice some whiteness on your nipple, you may have either a bleb or a little bit of thrush going on. Thrush can come with a little bit of crustiness, a pink sore nipple. You may also notice white patches in your baby's mouth. A bleb may look like a little white bubble on the tip of your nipple and that can be really uncomfortable. Sometimes at home you can work through a bleb with a little bit of warmth over it and just frequent feeding and you may find that that bleb resolves itself. If not, definitely reach out to a lactation consultant. If you're noticing signs of thrush, a lactation consultant could also help, but you may need to also talk to your OB or another provider to be able to properly treat that thrush. And in another video, we can dive into thrush some more. If you're interested in the topic, let me know down below. And the fifth reason that your nipples may be sore is sometimes there is an anatomy thing going on with your baby. So whether that be a tight jaw, um, uh, the way that they prefer to position their head because of maybe some tightness in the neck from the delivery, um, they may have a tongue or lip tie that they're working through and for signs of a tongue and lip tie, you can check out this video that I have on signs that your baby may have a tongue tie. These are all things that can be worked through, but definitely work with someone on them. The tongue tie, you would want a good care team like a lactation consultant, maybe a pediatric dentist or an ENT and for any of the other neck and jaw issues, even with a tongue tie, it can be helpful to work alongside with um, someone who does body work or 
baby chiropractic work to help loosen up some of those muscles, it can make a huge difference. So let me know if you've worked through any of these before. Let me know if you've had nipple soreness in the past, what was causing it and what you did to fix it. I would love to have you guys contribute to this conversation and be able to help out other members of the community. So if you want to stay up to date on what's going on on the channel, please subscribe down below, hit the bell so you don't miss anything that I post, and I will see you all next week. Bye. One final note is that a little bit of nipple pain is normal when your baby first latches on. That initial 30 seconds when your baby latches on and they're working the nipple from the front of the mouth towards the back of their mouth can be a little bit more intense. But a good rule of thumb is that if it doesn't ease up after that first 30 seconds, that your latch is probably not deep enough and you want to go ahead and use your finger to break the suction, take baby off, and work on getting a deeper latch the second time around. The latch should never feel like more than a 2 to 3 out of 10 pain beyond that first 30 seconds. So if it does, you know you need to start again. And it should, in general, just feel like a strong pulling but not pain, not biting, etc.